y'all welcome back in that last video I did I was talking about making a cover scent spray out of dog fennel I think I came up with a better idea better way of doing it than what I had said in that last video and uh, what I had planned to do was use my wife's Nutribullet and I figured that thing would bust that dog fennel up real good let that scent really get into the water and all but she said that she would feed me to the chickens little by little if I did that so now I'm going to have to do something a little bit different but I, I think I can work around it though y'all stick with me now seeing as how my wife wouldn't let me use her Nutribullet I'm going to have to do it the old fashioned way I'm going to take my knife and take this dog fennel and chop it up real fine we're gonna put it in this mason jar this quart mason jar right here just like that right there now if my wife would let me use her Nutribullet just go a lot faster this is time consuming cutting all this up with his knife like this so uh, I don't know I forgot to show you let's see if I can find it I took me a sharpie and made me a mark on this quart jar about how much I wanted to put in here because uh, you got to have a certain amount uh, material to a certain amount of water whenever you go to shaking this thing vigorously for it to break down like it ought to and now we ain't going to use her distilled water we're going to go over there at the sink get some warm tap water and use it we're going to fill that up with that mark right there just like so And then we're going to take our quart jar lid, put that thing on tight, and now we're going to shake the tar out of this right here. Now you got that shook up real good. Get the lid off of it. Sit that over in that pot. Then we're gonna take an old sock. So we don't you don't want to use your wife's coffee filter doohickey right here. You just take this old sock like this right here. You just start pouring that stuff off through that sock right there. That'll be enough. That'll be a gracious plenty for what we're doing. You take that old sock and squeeze it right there. Get the goodie out of that stuff right there. Stick that over there in your pot. Then we'll take and pour some of this off into this spray bottle right here. It ain't looking too good on not leaving green stains, is it? We'll take that thing right there. I already got dog in on my hands. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Pretty strong, pretty strong. I wouldn't spray it real close. I wouldn't get right up there and spray it on me. Cause that's probably gonna leave a stain. It'll wash out still, but you just have some fine 
sprays like that. It's actually smelling off pretty good. Uh, let me get there where y'all can see it a little better. All right. See a fine spray right there. You get the scent, but you ain't getting no stain on there. It's so light that you can't even see it. But now if you get up close, it'll take a bunch of it, but it will leave a stain. Now I know what all y'all are wondering. Y'all wondering what this right here tastes like. Tastes a lot like dog venom. Is my teeth green? Well, y'all, that's how it turned out. I think I would actually use it. Uh, I'll probably put some of this up. See how long it lasts. See if it lasts on into the season. But I've also put me some in the freezer and uh, just straight dog venom in gallon bags, just in case. It's finally. Thank y'all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, let me get that thumbs up from you if you don't mind. I appreciate it. The good book says that if you have pity on the poor, that God will pay you back whatever you give them. So help somebody if you can. Give to somebody less fortunate. It won't cost you a dime. Y'all have a good one. The good book says that if you have put it. <laughs> now, since my wife wouldn't let me do it. Yeah. I gotta pee. I'll be right back.